Okay, we're going to test this Ford. We call these here, and we call them a Longhorn. I guess that's because we're in Texas. But anyway, it's the version of a 600 Holley carburetor that has these emission pipes. And these things here got a rubber tube that goes over to your canister. Looks like a coffee can that got charcoal in it. And this is supposed to filter the the, the uh, pollution going in the air. This has got an electric choke. To set the choke, it's gonna you, when we ship it, the choke's gonna be turned off, and the car will run fine with that. But to set it, you guys with tinkeritis, you loosen up these three screws, and you rotate it, jiggle that cap loose, very easy to break, and rotate that cap until that thing touches just like that. Not real strong pressure, but just touching. Tighten them three screws back up, hook your hot wire to it. Then the heat, when you turn your key on. It will heat that element up and it'll pop that choke right up like that. Nothing to do with the carburetor heat. It works strictly off that coil inside there. This one here's got a Ford kick down over here. It can be used on, they use these things on motorhomes, cars, trucks, from 75 up until they quit making carburetors on cars. This is the carburetor that they use for this particular thing. Some people call this a Model 4165 or something like that. It's really a material. This one here has a Ford knob sticking out. You can put that on there. You can drill a hole and put a linkage in there. It's a single pumper. In other words, it's got one pump, not a double pumper. One gas line on a 45 degree. Mixture screws are inset with Allen wrenches right in here and a vacuum secondary over here. Now we've already adjusted this before we started up. And what we're looking for, we're looking for a mixture here of 12 parts of air. That's on this computer dial. That's coaxed to a computer down there and all that good stuff down there and all them wires and all that calculation. And what we're looking for is 12 parts of air. And then when it accelerates, it starts thinning out, thinning out. The faster you go, the more it thins out because you don't need as much liquid gas. A strong mixture. You don't need that. Because your vehicle's already moving. Now we got a baked on finish here, which you know, until you unless you spray acid or carburetor cleaner on her, which carburetor cleaner eat off anything. That stuff will stay on there for years. You got vacuum ports here for your various vacuum brakes and a distributor and whatever you need, whatever you don't need, you plug them up. It's a kind of a good universe to get typical Ford pattern. Five and uh eight this way and five and five eighths going that way. See how sweet that starts up when it sits in the high 30s and low 40s. And we've been using them to start it right up. We get pumped again a few times. Now, where that red light right there means that computer is just calculating. It's calculating everything coming out of that exhaust system. As you can see, it's going to stop right here about 12. We're going to have to accelerate it. It's going to thin out. Pump, or your factory fuel pump from, I'd say, from seven pounds on down. Is what 